It's about that time. Assemble and talk. No, no cap. It's a civil war. You digging, you worthy. You feeling like door. Smash that like button, like hook. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. We're here once again. If you're new to the channel or if you're not, this is the best podcast in the multiverse. Smash that like button like hook. Please subscribe. Join the fam. All right. You've seen the title. You know why you're here. That means you've seen Secret Invasion episode one. I'm here alone today, so I'm just going to do a quick little review on it, you know, so I don't miss any episodes from this series. Um, trying to hit back a simple time hard. Um... All right. To start off with, I thought it was a, I thought it was a, a good change of pace for the MCU, especially you know with everything from Phase Four or even Ant Man. Even though I like most of the products that they came out with, maybe I'm being biased, but nonetheless, I definitely thought this was a nice change of pace. I felt like it had a a, a well grounded vibe to it. It had kind of like a a. Winter Soldier vibe. I don't know if I'm if I'm alone on that, but comment down below. Let me know. Um, I thought it was uh, the action scenes was uh, pretty cool. You know, a lot of hand to hand fight, fighting combat, just like Winter Soldier. Um, being Nick Fury in there and everything, having him come back, it just gives you that nostalgic Winter Soldier vibes. Um, it seems like the Squirrel invasion is pretty serious or deeper than we probably even thought it could be. You know. Um, I wonder honestly how long it's been going on for, you know, like, because with the new series and everything, you just would expect, oh, it's hitting the fan now, right? Like, it's starting to, they starting to infiltrate and everything, but it seems like it's kind of, for me at least, it seems like it's been going on for a couple years now, and um, it will be, excuse me, it will be interesting to see who actually been a scroll for a while, and like, See how, like, in uh, Far From Home, Nick Fury and Maria Hill at the end reveal themselves to be scrolls. So I wonder, like, that, like, if we see, like, Rhodey in it and then we find out he's been tied up in a basement somewhere for the last two, three appearances that he had. That would be crazy to find out. Um, Ross, I thought Ross was cool, uh, the colonizer, right? <laughs> um, I wonder if he's dead or not. I don't think they showed him again in the. In, this, in the episode, but um, that first scene with the action and everything, the whole interrogation scene, honestly, that was a, that was real um, clever because it plays into today's date, right? Like, you know, a whole bunch of people be having conspiracies and this and that. Um, people talking about it been, there been aliens here, greys and everything. So I felt like they played a little on that, but um, ironically, homeboy was right about it. The guy in the beginning who was like had all the posters and the. Uh, Strings on the wall and everything that was real um, dope and cool. Um, Talos, I can't wait to see more of him. I'm not gonna lie, and I can't wait to see him in his uh scroll form because I think he's like super like funny when he's in his scroll form. And not saying I, re I don't really want comedy in this show, honestly, I like the pace that it's going at, but it's just the way he comes off. It's just like yo, this guy. Um, what, what else? Um, if I won't miss anything, um, he got a daughter, his daughter's Gaia. Um, you know, there have been rumors on it before that, uh, the girl who played Khaleesi in, um, Game of Thrones was going to play her, and she actually is. Um, I like her acting in this, you know, it's not bad. I think it's cool. I want, we need to see more, of course, but for a first episode, it was definitely a nice, solid first episode. It wasn't as short as usual, like, this one was a 55-minute runtime. I thought that was great. Um, the whole, uh, Maria Hill. Let's just talk about Maria Hill, first of all. I'm not gonna front. I'm not gonna be that guy to say no. Nah, I've been, but honestly, in my head, I was like, she's dying in this series. I did not expect her to die in the first episode. Um, I do wonder if she's fully dead or not, because that's like a thing in the MCU. But I was seeing online that people were saying maybe she's a scroll and they cut away too quick. That could make a lot of sense. But even if that was a scroll and she does come back, I still think she would die in this series. But it was crazy the way that to see her go, right? Like, that's the messed up thing about dying by a scroll of somebody that when they shape shift into someone that looks like someone you know because you you trust them, right? And she died. If she did die, right? She died believing Nick Fury killed her, which was like you know the closest person she was to. That was crazy. Um, 
the whole uh, ending scene. All right, before we jump to the ending scene, actually, the like in the middle ish, when you know when Nick Fury and um, Talos was trying to find the uh, more answers and stuff, and they end up coming across that scroll. Right, he was like, everybody, everyone gets one lie, nobody gets two, and you already see where this is going. Like you know for sure, like most likely this guy's a scroll. That whole fight scene was crazy. Um, he was whipping um, Talos' ass. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I don't know if Talos hasn't been training or fighting. Maybe since he's been on the good side for so long, he hasn't really put his hands to use, but it showed. Um, I think he definitely, obviously, he would have died if um, Nick Fury didn't step in. And then he gets mad over that. Like, I get it. You got a pride and an ego thing going on. But, bro, he was going to kill you. That's just what it is. But that was a dope scene for me. Um, I thought the whole interaction with uh, Talos and his daughter, Gaia, I thought that was really cool. Um, I didn't expect her to come back to him so quick, you know, with the information she did. Usually in other movies and TV shows and stuff, not MCM so much, just period. Like, the child usually plays the resentment, right? Especially when they ran away or something, right? So it was cool to hear that. I think it was probably him telling her, like, that her mom's died. Especially by the people that she's working for. So that was crazy. Um, at the, now we fast forward to the end when they um, was looking for the for the bags, right, with the bombs in it. The fact that they had decoy bags, that makes me believe that uh, Gravik, I believe his name was, the the main uh, scroll leader of the new rebellious scrolls. Um, they must be tipped on, right? They must know, right? He must have had a hunch, a feeling like, oh, she might be, you know, a weak end here, a loose end. Um, that they had the decoy bags and everything. Because it was like, we know exactly what you're looking for. And then Gravik was there, right? He was following Nick Fury. He showed up as the little girl first. And then every time he passed behind something, he switched into something else, someone else, I should say. And um, if I was Nick Fury right there, I probably would have shot him. I don't know why Nick Fury didn't. But Maria Hill did say, yo, you're changing. Like, you changed since the since the blip. Lila, go lay down. Sorry, my dogs. They did say, you're not the same Nick Fury since, you know, the blip happened. Thanos changed you. Um, I don't know if that plays more into the curiosity or the unknowing of, is Nick Fury a scroll? Because that could have happened, right? They could have went and infiltrated up there, right? Um, sent the word out to the scrolls on the, on the saber ship and let them know, yo. We about to start taking over. You don't want to get down with us. This is your time before it's too late. They could have had an inside man, you know, somebody that tied up Nick Fury up there and who knows what could have happened. But I think it would be a cool payoff if we do, that does happen and then we see like Nick Fury officially come down. So it gives us more of that ground. Like, no, this is Nick Fury, you know? Because right now with one episode, we still not sure. Um, when I was thinking, I think I also seen James Rhodes, um, War Machine pop up. And one little scene. Can't wait to see more of him. Every time he gives dialogue to me, he's just a well, good speaker, great actor. Um, Don Cheeto, I can't wait to just see more of him in this show. Um, I had read online also that he was um, currently in the MCU, that he's going to be the president of, a, of the president of America. He's going to be his right-hand man. So let's see if that plays out, if that ends up becoming true. Um, excuse me. The whole, uh, the whole ending, though, when they... When the bombs go off and you see how... Now, he's just standing there. Gravik is just standing there and then the bombs come like... Poof. I was telling my homeboys, like, yo, I think that he killed probably like a couple hundred people there. And then the second bomb goes off. They go, kind of go back to back and then some time passes. And then a third bomb goes off. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's it's definitely higher in the hundreds. I, um, a couple hundreds. I think maybe... I said five to eight hundred. I was, now I'm leaning more towards probably... Uh, Nah, yeah, that's the, I'm gonna stay with that because you never know. It was a lot of people there. It was, you know, it was a festivity going on. But, yo, right? The graphicness of that, it was just like, well, not really the graphicness. It's just like the, the, the shock value of that. It was like, yo, wow, they went for it. They really uh, took some innocent people out. Um, it got me excited for more. I can't wait to see more. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't no post credit scene in this episode, but that didn't happen before in um, the MCU Disney Plus shows. Some episodes have a post credit scene, some doesn't, so let's see what happens. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comment section what you thought of Secret Invasion Episode 1. 
um, let me know what do you want to happen in it too, because I actually think that's a big deal. Like something that I would want to happen is, um, I guess like a, not just cameos, right? But people that's gonna play a, a real part role. So like, let's say like, if we do see more, um, cause we know James Rhodes is in this, right? War Machine. But I would like to see be War Machine in one of these episodes, right? Um, stuff like that. So just let me know in the comment section, uh, what would you want to see moving forward? Um, they are gonna release weekly every Wednesday. Um, if you up at night, they come out at 3 a.m. on Tuesdays, so you can catch it then. That's what I did. Um, but yeah, uh, smash that like button, like Hulk. Please subscribe. We're trying to hit 200 subscribers. We're almost there, right? Almost there. Um, drop a comment, like I said, and until next time, assemble time. About that time, assemble and talk. No cap, it's a civil war. You thinking you worthy? You feeling like door? Smash that like button, like hope. Yeah.